Ho, ho, ho. You're watching Fantavision. And I'm Fanta Sant. Okay, I'm not doing that. Today, I am discussing the holidays while working in retail. Now, this could really apply to anywhere from Walmart to Target to really, really any big box store. You can't really include GameStop in this one. I've already covered it anyway. No. Instead, we're going to be discussing the stores that have the constant Christmas music, the constant cheery mood in the air, despite the fact that you feel miserable and all of your coworkers are miserable and you're not really excited about the holidays. It's that's really the the biggest thing about working retail during the holidays is that everyone else around you is excited and happy and by excited and happy and everyone around you, I mean the customers are excited and happy. Your family is excited and happy. And your friends that don't work in retail are excited and happy. Whereas you kind of dread these days. You dread these, not even days, these months. Because everyone else is excited about having the days off, getting vacation around Christmas, and overall just kind of being able to relax i mean sure there are a few things about the end of the year that are stressful at a company but it's really not anywhere close to how it feels when you're working in retail because when you're working for a company in an office or really anywhere that isn't retail normally these are your days off these are the days you're looking forward to the end of the year. It's so close. You're going to get at least like a week off or a couple of days. Um, some places, including mine, you kind of get Christmas through January 1st off. So you don't really get that when you're working in retail. You get Christmas off, especially if you're working at Walmart. If you're working at Walmart, you get Christmas and that's it. You don't get anything else. You're working Christmas Eve. I think they close a little bit earlier, but overall, I mean, you're working on Thanksgiving, you're working during all these times where you're supposed to be with family. And that's a huge bummer for a lot of people when you're working in retail is that you don't really get to see your family, especially for people that have kids. They have a wife and kids and they're working retail. You don't, you don't get to spend time with any of them because you're just working your random ass shift and even if you're management, now you're working even more hours. When you're in this retail environment and you hear the Christmas music all the time and you see the different Christmas decorations and all the holiday crap come in, it's not something that you're really looking forward to. It's kind of just a reminder that you don't get to have the same Christmas as everybody else or whatever holiday you celebrate. Christmas is the big one. You know, even if basically if you're not Jewish or Muslim or something else, Christmas is it. It doesn't matter if you're Christian or not. It's not really a religious holiday anymore. Sorry if I offended you. Santa is not a, you know, religion. I guess for kids, Santa's a religion. But for everyone else, Santa's not a religion. This is not a religious symbol. It's just a fun holiday that everyone can enjoy. It's supposed to bring everyone together, you know? That's why it's always frustrating. I'm not going to go into a political thing here, but it... It's frustrating when people try to even make Christmas divisive. For the love of God, we have enough things that people can argue about. Let's all just enjoy Xmas or holidays or whatever the hell you want to say. Let's just enjoy it. Unless you're in retail. Because then you're trapped in this building with no de with, with decorations everywhere. But, like, ah, there's just like this feeling inside of you. That makes the holidays empty and it took a long time before I could kind of get back into the holidays and I'm still I'm still in recovery for people in retail you're missing out and along with missing out you're kind of dealing with the worst of people during this time people's you think people during this time would be more patient more friendly stuff like that no the customers are not any of that because all of them even though we know when christmas is it's like the one holiday designated for giving gifts everybody waits till the last second and because they waited till the last second it's your fault 
you don't have that item in stock. It's your fault that there's a billion other, billion other idiots out there that are all trying to get the same thing and clogging up stores. It's your fault that everybody from the East Coast is over here on the West Coast and making traffic worse and making shopping worse and making everything else a whole lot worse. And another thing about working during this time in this retail environment is the managers and the corporate try way too hard to get you into the Christmas spirit. They will, like I said, put on Christmas music 24-7. So when you're working there 40 hours a week or more, you have to hear Christmas music 40 hours a week or more. You grow to hate Christmas music. I still hate Christmas music. I have not gotten past that hatred of it. Because even when I was working at the Chinese restaurant, Christmas music. So I escaped it during my time at GameStop, thankfully. We didn't really have any Christmas music going on. There were some like holiday commercials, but it wasn't really that big of a deal. But working at Walmart, even though it was only eight months, it felt like an eternity. It felt like that episode of Black Mirror where the guy is trapped in this this thing, like it's this consciousness trapped inside of like this electronic thing and the guy can control how fast time goes and he just leaves the the music on and makes it like an infinite winter and he's stuck in there that's how it felt that's how it felt working at GameStop if you haven't watched Black Mirror it's amazing it's actually called White Christmas ironic it's amazing how something that is so uplifting most of the time for most people something that's supposed to be so cheery something that's supposed to put you in the holiday mood instead takes you out of it because of how much you have to listen to it. And I feel like retail establishments don't really think about that. I like the places that don't have any Christmas music at all because A, I still don't want to hear it. B, again, the retail employees have to deal with it. Are they not thinking of the retail employees? And the answer, unfortunately, is no. No, of course they're not. They're never thinking about the retail employees. They're only worried about the customer because... That is their main goal, to make sure that the customer is happy, to make sure that the customer is having that holiday experience, which leads us to another thing. Sometimes they force this Christmas spirit upon the employees, even if they're definitely not feeling it, even if they're feeling all these different things that I just discussed, how they're feeling like they're missing out, how they're miserable, how they're dealing with customers that waited till the last minute that are entitled to that item right now, even though they waited till the last second. So they make you wear Christmas hats or they make you wear like vests or some other festive thing. And this is something that you can see out there. I mean, this happens. I mean, it doesn't happen every year, but you can definitely see these retail employees wearing Christmas stuff. And of course, there are the employees that are more than happy to do it. I don't know who these people are or where they were created. I see the deadness in their eyes when they're wearing that like Santa hat like this because they're, they either started their shift or they just want off of their shift so they can go and and try to enjoy the holidays the best that they can. Despite, you know, like I said, having to work that job. I'm hoping that in the future, I don't know. That's that's the thing I want to, there's something I want to see with retail. I want to see a change for the future. I want to see retail stores think about the employee more than just the customer. Because I get it, they have to worry about the customer because they're the ones giving them the money. But I feel like we need to make sure that the employees are having some some off time because they they all desperately need just some sort of break during this time for mental health reasons. I mean, there's so many more depressed people nowadays, I feel, than ever before. And I'm not attributing this to only working retail or anything like that. It's just kind of overall. And I feel like if we focus on mental health more, even in a small way, such as Giving Christmas Eve and Christmas off, I feel like that's fair. Giving New Year's Day off, wouldn't that be cool? Do people really need to be going to the stores on New Year's Eve? Giving, you know, Thanksgiving off. I mean, now Thanksgiving is just Black Friday. 
Like, it's ridiculous. These employees deserve more days off. And I feel like that would make retail a better environment for a lot of people that have to work there. Because there are a lot of people who are never able to escape retail. It's all they can do. They don't have the time to find a new job because they're trying to take care of someone or somebody's sick at home or something. You know, there's so many situations out there where people don't have the ability to find something better. And that's why I've made these videos. I feel like a lot of people don't understand why I make these videos. A lot of people try to one up me and I've discussed this before. They try to say I'm whining and stuff like that. It's not about that. I don't even work retail anymore. I make these videos for the people that are still working retail because I've been there. I know what it's like. And I urge you, I urge you if you've made it this far in the video, to please bear in mind who you're talking to during the holidays. Bear in mind that these people are not able to see their families, that they're stuck working a job that nobody enjoys and that they're not able to enjoy the same holiday you are because of the way retail works. They're just not, they're just not allowed to. So when you're shopping, if you're still doing last minute shopping, I know a lot of you are, it's fine. We all procrastinate, but don't be one of those people that I could make a video about. You know what I mean? Don't be impatient. Don't yell at these people. If it's, you know, there are definitely those retail employees out there that just don't give a shit and they're not trying. I get getting angry at them, but whenever somebody's coming off that way, there might be a reason. And I've tried to kind of bring this into my life as well. If somebody is really mad and they're kind of taking it out on you, there might be a reason. There might be something that's going on in their life and they don't mean to be doing this. I'm not saying kill them with kindness, but just try to give these people an extra little break because like I said, it can be really rough on a lot of people during this time of year. And I hope that just this little speech at the end of this video helps push you in the right direction. If you might have been having a rough holiday and you're thinking like, I might, I might have snapped at some of these people if it weren't for this, if I didn't self-reflect for a moment and think about it before I went into a store, hey, if they're sold out of this item, it's not the person there's fault, you know? It's not the employee's fault. I feel like everybody needs to definitely self-reflect more often. I know I need to, I'm not perfect by any means. I'm not trying to say, oh, Fanta here's the perfect person and I self-reflect all the time and I never snap at anybody. No, I'm saying all these things because I've done all of these things. I am not a perfect person. And I just want to make sure that everyone out there has the best holiday possible because even though this is supposed to be like the happiest time of year for a lot of people, this is the most stressful and miserable time of year. It definitely has been in the past for me. And I know that if a lot more people followed this sort of um, mentality that there would be a lot less stress being put upon me and my fellow coworkers when I was working retail. And hopefully some people here will self reflect and make somebody's holiday a little bit better just by being a better person. But there you go. Hopefully, hopefully that helped somebody out there. I don't know. That's, that's really what I hope for, for a lot of these videos. Hopefully it helped somebody out there. That's my thought with most of them. Anyway, thanks for watching everyone. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like it, please. I know I, I don't usually ask for likes, but it really does help. And YouTube's algorithm robot does not like me. So likes are appreciated. Subscribe for more content because a lot of people have been unsubbed. I've seen in the comments. And as always, have a fantastic day. Today I'm drinking another, what is this, Fresh Haze IPA, Deschutes, juicy, delicious, I love it, it's really good, and 
I will have more holiday videos coming out soon. I'm going to do some holiday buyer's guides. Let me know if you guys want me to do kind of just an overall or if you want per system. I feel like per system makes more sense. You know, PS4, Xbox One, Switch, PC. That's a lot of videos, though. That's four videos. I don't know if you guys want four videos of that. Let me know. It's definitely been a lot of great deals coming out. And it's not too far from Christmas that Amazon will probably get it to you on time. And they're not going to be sold out at most of these stores. Just don't be a dick about it. And... I feel like that might help some people get some of that stress away. I hope the green screen worked. If it didn't, you're going to see lots of weird fuzzy things. You're going to see fuzzy things through my shirt. I don't know. There's a lot of shadows. I didn't use two lights like I normally do to try to kill that. Instead, use the light down here to kind of shine up at my face so there's not a bunch of shadows everywhere. But instead, it casts more shadows back there. I don't know if it made the problem worse. Who knows? And look forward to more streams. Seriously, I'm going to try to stream more. I need a schedule. I really do. Because it's a lot of fun. It's fun to talk to you guys. I think I'm going to just kind of stick to YouTube for now. Nobody followed me over on Twitch. If you want to follow me over on Twitch, I might start occasionally streaming over there. But it was really difficult. And I like the community on here. Get a lot more viewers. It's easier to interact with a lot of people. And if you're here... That's awesome. Seriously. Thank you to everybody who's come to my streams. Thank you to all my new patrons. The podcast is up right now on Patreon. So check it out. Listen to it. It's with Camelot331 again. It's great.